if you are like most of us, this is one of the first things you bought when you got into RC. This little battery checker, I don't think there's many people who don't own one of these, who haven't owned one of these. And it's okay, it's not bad, but there's a better one out there and I think it's the one you should buy. Although this one is only $4. And the one I'm gonna show you is a little bit more expensive, but I think it's way better and I think you can afford it. So this is the one that I think you should get. And here's why. Number one, it's way better for if you're going to do, uh, especially if you're going to do parallel charging, it shows you each of the cells one by one, as well as the total pack voltage, which means that if you're doing parallel charging, you can instantly see if any cell is significantly out of balance, as opposed to this guy where you have to manually step by pressing a button, beep, 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 beep between the cells. It's kind of a hassle. This one, you get all of the cells in one glance. That's good. But this one is better for a couple of other reasons as well. This one only reads the cell voltage when you first plug it in and then it freezes. It does not do real-time updates. At least mine doesn't. Somebody's going to comment down in the comments and say, what are you talking about? Mine does. I don't know. I have this exact one and it doesn't. And I learned that the hard way when I plugged a battery into a light bulb to discharge it, I plugged this thing in to monitor the voltage. I came back 15 minutes later and it still said the same voltage as it did when I plugged it in. And I went, well, that can't be right. <laughs> I could have destroyed the battery. Oops. Uh, so this one does not do live updates. This one does do live updates. So if you're discharging or if you're doing any kind of testing or anything, you plug this into the balance lead on the battery, you will get live updates as the battery's voltage changes. Seems like a basic thing. And you know, that's the least you could ask for really, right? The other thing this does that is really cool is it has an external port that you can plug into. It's just gotta be a transistor or something like that. And you can use these halogen bulbs, which they're the exact same halogen bulbs, by sheer coincidence, the exact same ones that I bought to make my battery discharger for my battery testing. So basically, this will trigger the external discharge and run the battery down until it reaches a predetermined level. And that is really nice because this thing itself can act as a battery discharger, but it can't dissipate much heat and it's really slow. Don't buy this as a battery discharger, it's really slow. But if you buy this with the external kit that you see here, it's great as a battery discharger because the light bulbs are the load, they're dissipating the heat, and this thing is just acting as a trigger to say, okay, stop, fantastic. If you buy this, buy the one from Myr Mart because here's, here's what's different about it. Number one, the one from Myr Mart has this external trigger, which the one that I bought from Banggood does not have that, okay? The other thing is that the one from MyRC Mart has, if you look right here, it has the ability to plug in a JR connector or a JST connector from a standard NICAD, see JST and your standard servo connector. And that's nice, mine, mine that I bought from Banggood also doesn't have that, so I can only plug in balance connectors. I can't plug in a JST connector from a, from a NICAD or anything, I just don't have that as an option. So that's too bad, should've bought this one. So if you look here, here you can also find this at Hobby King. It does have the connector for the JST and the servo connector, but it does not have the, the uh, discharge functionality. And also the same for this one from Banggood. It has the JST and the servo connector, but if you look at the top, uh, where's the top? Show me the top. There. You can see on the top, it does not have the discharge functionality. And if you look at the price, $11 here, $10 here, and here is the one with the external discharge connector for a grand total of $15. So I guess that's your call. It is five bucks more, but um, if you need something to quickly discharge batteries, this is a great way to go about it. If you don't need something to quickly discharge batteries, you could go with this one for a little bit cheaper that has the same functionality but doesn't have the discharge. This is the battery meter that you should get. This little $5 one, it's okay for five bucks, but I really, especially if you parallel charge, like the ability to see all of the cells at once, really gives you a better perspective on your battery's health than just looking at the pack voltage. And the discharge functionality is just gravy. Anyway, there you go. Good little product. Passing it on to you. Happy flying.